Hello and welcome to Snow Pros TV. Today we have an interview for you with Stefan, one of our ski instructors. Here we go. Hello. What is your name? Uh, my name is Stefan. Where are you from? I am from Germany. I was born in Kirchhellen, which is a small village in North Rhine-Westphalia, which is close to Gladbeck, a city with 7,000 inhabitants, uh, which is in the Ruhr area. Maybe when you're interested in football, you know the Miners, the famous German football team Schalke 04. That's more or less where I'm from. Where do you live? In the winter season, I live in Champery. In the summer, it depends where I have work. Last summer, I was working in Spitz at the Lake of Thun. Uh, next summer, I think, hopefully, I will work in Schafis, a small village next to the Lake of Biel. In your humble opinion, how good are you at skiing? Mm, I'm not the best skier in the world yet. But I'm training hard to be by 2046 at the latest. What is the best trait a ski instructor can have? And do you have it? Oof, uh, take a teaspoon each of patience, humor, empathy, creativity, observation, experience, and give it a good shake. The result is the best trait. I didn't follow the recipe exactly, but I think the outcome is okay. Which is your first memory of skiing? Mm. My first day in Val Thorens, uh, Three Valleys, France. I was 13 years old and I had a collective lesson with the ESF in English. I had rental skis uh, from a school in my hometown and after 15 minutes we had fresh snow. The snow stuck under my skis, which were not waxed at all. So I couldn't go on and went home. In the afternoon I rented skis in the resort and took part in the course again the next day and promptly <laughs> fell off twice uh, the bottom lift. Uh, at the end of the week, however, it was enough for the big day trip through the Three Valleys. First memory. Why did you get into ski instructing? Um, while studying biology, I wanted to ski as often as possible. Uh, of course, only during the lecture-free period. But unfortunately, as a student, money was always a little bit tight. So I thought to myself that I would just do a ski instructor course at the university to get to the mountains more often. What can I say? It worked out very well. I still finished my studies, but you can see for yourself what has become of me. What is the most important thing you can teach in a lesson? Mm. Rome wasn't built in a day. No stress. Enjoy the landscape, enjoy the movement and the fresh air, and be proud of yourself when you ski a little bit better at the end of the lesson. Your top tip for enjoying a ski lesson. Be aware of what you would like to do and approach it in a relaxed manner. The rest will come by itself. And your worst moment on skis? last run at the end of each season. Your best ever ski day? My book of the best skiing days ever is so sick that it would go beyond the scope of this video, sorry. Uh, let's talk about this in the chairlift. What would your dream summer job be? My dream summer job is uh, working as a hiking guide with guests who want to hike all day long and uh, who like sitting 
chilled in front of a glass of wine in the evening. What does skiing mean to you? Um, for me, skiing means making elegant movements in an awesome landscape. The whole thing in the company of nice people, a dream. Can anyone learn to ski? Of course, anyone can. No doubt, no excuses. Good morning everybody, this is Stefan from Snow Pros. They've sent me a long questionnaire and I will try to answer all his questions during my day trip through the Port du Soleil. The first question is, where are you from? I am from Germany, from a town called Gladbeck, which is in the Ruhr area. North Rhine-Westphalia, a very flat part of Germany, tons of coal, no mountains. Let's continue with the next question. Where do you live? In the winter season, I live in Champéry for plus minus 20 years. And this summer I will work and live in Schafis, which is a small village next to the lake of Biel. So, uh, from said, I skied down to Morjan, a little bit off-piste. And it was a big surprise because I found some fresh and untraced powder. You know, we are in January, the last snowfall was 12 days ago. And since then we had springtime temperatures, every day sunshine, blue sky, sunshine, blue sky. But still, today I can find some good snow, fresh snow. Amazing. Now I'm in Corbeau chairlift behind me. You can see maybe Moja. And uh, it's time for the next question. How, in your humble opinion, how good are you at ski? I'm not the best skier in the world yet, but I try to be the number one in 2046. Still in the chair of Corbeau. It's a very long one. So um, if you go up with Corbeau in sunshine, you can have a nice picnic here before you go up pass by the bakery in uh, the bakery Boulangerie des Fago in Morgin and uh, buy yourself something nice. I prefer the potatoes, the pommes de terre. And then you can have a nice picnic in the Corbeau chairlift. Next question. What is the best trade a ski instructor can have? Do you have it? That's a very hard question. I found a very old tome uh, the tome of tomes called Magic of Ski Instructing and on the page 1364 I found the following recipe. Take a teaspoon of each. Patience, humor, empathy, creativity, observation, experience and give it a good shake. Fill up with a lot of hot chocolate and that's the best trait. Do I have it? I didn't follow the recipe exactly, but I think the outcome is okay. From Mangin I skied to Super Chatel and now I'm in the button lift next to the Chalet Neuf. If you like buttons and blues, that's one of the places to go because here you got two very nice white, normally empty blue runs and a long button lift. Another very good place to go is to the button lift Ripay in the Le Creuset area. So my first memory of skiing. Uh, I was 13 years old when I skied for the first time. Uh, in my Easter holidays we went to Valcarin, three rallies, France. I booked a week lesson at the Ecole de Ski Francais in English. And on, my, on our first day we had sticky and fresh snow. I had rental skis from a school in my hometown and they weren't waxed at all. So after one hour the snow stuck under the skis and I couldn't continue. The teacher sent me home. So I had to rent another pair in a shop in Valterins 
came back the second day and of course the rest of the group did a lot of progressions on the first day. So we started directly with a long button lift and I fell off twice. That's my first memory of skiing. So hello! Now I'm standing in the fun park from Super Chateau. And it's time for the next question. Uh, why did you get into ski instructing? While I was studying biology at the University of Münster, I wanted to ski as often as possible. Of course, uh, only during the lecture free period. And as you know, as a student, uh, money is sometimes tight. So I thought to myself, why not doing a ski instructor course at the university? And then, in the year 1997, yes, that's 1997, I did my first lesson in port in Champery at the Planner Show Slope with some students from Münster. After that, I worked for some two operators, and then I started working for ski schools in Champery, one year also in Komontana, and I ended up at Snow Pro Ski School, where I will stay until I'm retired. So, fun parks! If you like fun parks, Porto is the place to be. We've got that one here in Super Chatel. We got the Super Park in Le Creuset, two nice parks in Avoria. And speciality, we got the Little Stash and the Big Stash, two parks with natural obstacles, also in Avoria. So, for jumps and rails, good place to go. From Super Chatel's snow park, I skied to Torgon, did a couple of runs over there, and now I'm heading slowly back to Champery. Here I'm next to the slope, which is called Panoramique. Guess why? <laughs> Behind me, you can see the Lake of Geneva. Then hopefully you can see it. Fabulous mountain landscape, the Alps Bernoise. And then we look to the Alps Valaisan, where you can see the Grand Combin, Les Danses du Midi, and a little bit of Mont Blanc. Next question on my list is. What is the most important thing you can teach in a lesson? Don't stress yourself. Rome wasn't built in one day. Enjoy the landscape. Enjoy the movements in the fresh air. And be proud of yourself. That's very important when you ski a little bit better at the end of your lesson. My top tip for enjoying a ski lesson. Be aware of what you would like to do and approach it in a relaxed manner. The rest will come by itself. When this does not work, ski like rabbits! From Châtel to Avoria, another French resort in the Port du Soleil. What would my favorite summer job be? Very easy, quality tester in the bakery of Avoria. Honestly, I'm very happy with my actual job. I'm working in the vineyard and sometimes uh, for a couple of weeks as a hiking guide. Have a look. Yummy, yummy. Heading down to Switzerland, I'm standing now at the border at the famous Padeschavanet, better known as the Swiss Wall, one of the steepest bumpy slopes in the Alps. Sometimes at the top, the bumps are as tall as elephants. Okay, let's say baby elephants. I'm a little bit cold, so I will not take the challenge down. I will ski down for a small warm up. The question is, what is my worst, or what was my, my worst moment on skis? Hopefully, not the next minutes. See you at the bottom. I survived. So, 
I'm very sorry, but I don't have that worst moment on skis. My best ski day ever doesn't exist. When you ski down from after a day like this, from Ripai to Grand Paradis, Chambry's big paradise, face to face with the Dancy Midi, then every day is the best day. So, last question for today. Can anyone learn to ski? Of course, anyone can. No doubt, no excuses. See you on the slopes.